it's a record button hit. Can you see me? Yes. <laughs> First piece of fitness equipment that I ever made, like 25 years ago maybe, was this. It's got a car axle welded into a sledgehammer. Okay. Uh, the reason I like this is it's not to hit tires with. Okay, anybody that does that, the round handle, it twists, it goes off sideways. It's not very good. It's kind of like Keanu holding the camera sideways. Sometimes he does that, sometimes it'll hit your shin. But anyway, what this is is a joint mobility, shoulder mobility uh, thing. So, uh, anytime you do grappling, or boxing or anything, you're gonna have problems with your shoulders. It's gonna happen. As you get older, you have problems with your shoulders. So, what I use this for is, first, just to start off really light with it and figure out where my shoulder problem's at, okay? And then as you start warming your shoulder joint up, start doing more around. And you don't wanna be... <laughs> Yeah, I you, to you're too close. I'm trying to keep up with you. Yeah, perfect. All right. So, you know, if you swing like this, you'll get to a spot right about here where your shoulder has to flip. Okay? And that's usually where people have a lot of problems, right here. And that will roll in your hand to come around. I have a lot of problems with my right shoulder. Okay? Uh, it's been dislocated a couple times and all kinds of shredded up. So... Here with this, right about here, if I try to power through it, I'm going to end up hurting my shoulder. So you've got to kind of, you know, use this as it feels best, okay? And as you start to free up your shoulder, it's called a frozen joint. And as the shoulder starts to warm up, you can, uh, you know, use this more, okay? Uh, if you want to research what a frozen joint is, there's a lot out there about that, but this helps with that. So, and you can do all kinds of other shoulder mobility things with it. I used to uh, practice my ninjutsu with it. Oh. Ah! The shoulder workouts. That's honestly what I first first uh, use it for. Okay, the next thing with grappling and, and, and stuff and uh, anything that you're doing with shoulder problems. There's uh, this thing that I've always enjoyed doing. It's called teacuping. And I first uh, saw this uh, from, uh, I don't remember what it was. It's was, uh, a Shaolin dough thing I used to take whenever I was a kid. And uh, what teacuping is, is this is going to look crazy, but that's okay. You can do this in the privacy of your own home in your bathroom. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> okay. But just because I'm doing it in public, that just means I don't mind looking silly. So, I'm going to start with this, okay? So, here, I lost one. It doesn't roll all the way over here. Alright, right, there she is. Alright, totally stupid looking. I understand, just keep the privacy of the bathroom thought in here and you can do it on your own. And Whatever you do is totally yours. So, the goal of this is to keep it turned upright. Okay, so imagine a teacup full of water. What you're doing is with your shoulder movement and your hand articulation, you're keeping that teacup from spilling. And you're rotating this motion all the way around. Rotate inside like that, and then rotate outside. Then you can get two of them going, okay? As you get more familiar with this, you can get two of them going. So I have a, so outside, up. Once again, imagine these are teacups full of water. Whenever you make a mistake, they tell you, especially if it's over your head, okay? <clears throat> now you can, we got somebody coming in, it's gonna say, new person, they're gonna say, what the heck are you doing? Totally looking silly, so just bear with me for a second. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, I'm going to totally mess this up because this is a lot more challenging. You can use heavier stuff. The taller the thing, the harder it is. Uh, this, pretty easy. Something like that that's going to move around a whole different world of hardness. <laughs> With the 
bathroom comment before. That sounds totally wrong. Uh, totally, totally different thing, okay? So, I will try to do this. Oh, I lost it. Oh, I lost it. Yeah. Oh, super hard. And the key is to not lose it. And once you get better with one, then you can try to do two. Totally, totally different effort. Uh, what you're doing is you're going to, your shoulders and your arms and your body is uh, going to uh, get a coordination in some of the connective tissue and some of the uh, quick twitch fibers to try to quickly adjust. Totally, totally, totally good exercise for shoulder mobility as well as just uh, understanding your body's uh, orientation in space. You know, it's like crazy sounding, but uh, you know, uh, it's, it helps with athletics. So. And all good, and it makes you grow up to be big and strong and hair on your chest, and that's, it'll do everything for you. It'll make you taller. <laughs> all right, thanks. Cut or hit.